Processes to acquire that, but there was not some. We ultimately did not have a plot for it. It is done. Does the county commission need to do anything? Not presently. Applying that. No, no, thank you, but no, not presently. How much was the state money? Five hundred nine thousand, roughly. Get uh, a little update on uh, the ad hoc committee. Uh, we're doing a ton of work, but it's the first wave. Uh, it will be in waves, rest so we don't overload nobody as far as the budget committee or full commission. Uh, we will be doing sending so many at a time uh, to get approval through the budget committee for them so we're not sitting in a four or five hour meeting. Uh, so if there's questions, you know, it won't take so long. Uh, we hope now that we see money has uh, been pulled down or taken down or whatever. Uh, we will probably be voting starting the next meeting uh, on what has come in. And uh, we have some people in desperate need that need help like a lot of other people, and we will try to do that. We've also, one thing we have done, we have found out that we could actually hire somebody to work with the state and with the federal government in making sure that our decisions was covered under, so there would not be no question about the money we were sending to you on. Uh, and that's always good to get a backup check to make sure because uh, the county would be liable if we spent money we, we didn't have. So uh, it's Mr. Woody Boyd will be the go between. Uh, he can be paid, but he's agreed, like the rest of us, to do it for free uh, to travel either email to, if possible, but if it takes travel to the state or federal whatever he said he would be willing to do that to get to okay before we present it that way that gives us a backup coverage that we're not doing something that's questionable that's uh that's pretty well it uh, would advise that if you see somebody out there that uh, business wise or whatever uh, we would sure entertain some more people right now. Thank you. Did I understand it right? The state money had been pulled down. Is that correct? The what? state money's been received. We have it in our possession. Okay. The trustee's so, office has it. Is, is there a reason we're waiting on the, the federal money? Is there a certain, I mean, I know there are probably some more restrictions hopefully dropping, but is there a reason we have not then pulled that down? 
we've applied for it. We, we haven't applied received it yet, so that money is not in our possession currently, but it's it's in the process. But, but again, the final ruling on that doesn't come out until September, so I would caution everybody to just hold on because we can't appropriately rank these projects until we know the rule book that we're grading against. So something that you know you may value more that right now isn't allowable may end up being allowable. So I would just caution everybody to not get in a rush. Again, money doesn't have to be obligated until 24, it doesn't have to be spent until 26. So I know people want it now, but you wanna make sure you get it to the proper people. I think the main thing is, is just get it in the county account. It's in the works, and I'd be happy to update you once we officially receive it. Mr. Chairman. Well, the only, the only reason I'm asking is to concern the email that come out that the question, it's kind of like a little threatening type email there, which, yeah, I'm sure that's probably not going to happen, but I think that was just to motivate people to finally officially ask. Right. I think there was a lot of uh, apprehension because of the process to apply, but no legislation has passed. We're referencing to you, I haven't received the same email. Was there was some legislators who were trying to pass some uh, some material that would take the funds back for who had to apply within a certain deadline. Mr. Chairman, nothing has happened on that yet. Can you can I elaborate? What, what kind of restrictions were they? Or, uh, what requirements were they asking for that were so basic? We live. No, we live. Yeah. No, okay. um, it's just usually when you ask for something like that in the name of an entity, they want information specific to the entity with a little information regarding the person asking for it. Well, this was kind of flipped around the other way. They wanted a little bit about the entity and a whole lot about the person asking. Really? Yeah, was so it the mayor? No, it was me. Oh, it was you, really? <laughs> so you kind of got uh, uh, yeah. questioned heavily about Okay. Yep. All right. But so this letter that y'all received with the deadline, can you tell me what that was about? No, no deadline. No deadline. Okay. Uh, it was just a letter threatening that some legislators were trying to push for such a thing. Okay. It didn't actually happen. It didn't actually pass. But there is a movement of people trying to do that. Okay. And I think probably, I'm, I'm speculating, but because of the process to acquire the money, there was a lot of counties who had hadn't yet done it. All right. Uh, we were one as well. Okay. And so they were, I think, just trying to motivate everybody to okay. go ahead and start that process. Okay. So were you kind of apprehensive to, to participate in that with so much private information going out? Yes. Okay. Was it was it worse than a bank loan? About the same. <laughs> really? About the same. Wow. <laughs> that is amazing. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess it, oh, is there any restrictions to the state to the five hundred nine thousand? Is that no? That was that was just we were waiting for the time to come. It's here. But for the uses, do they have? I don't. Last time I checked, I believe we had lifted them all. I believe that's all okay. money free. So you can use that for anything, place. basically. Okay. Has the commission? They haven't earmarked that anywhere, have they? No. Okay. No. There was some talks earlier about possibly using that uh, in aid with the radio. Okay. Yeah. I know they're already doing the towers, but this was going to possibly need to do with the portables. Yeah. Uh, but no, no, nothing official. Nothing's has been official about that. Decided on that. Okay. Did they give you any kind of timeline on when the 11.1 million would arrive? It, it said it took four business days to process my application. Assuming there's nothing wrong with my application, I anticipate it to come in pretty soon thereafter. Oh, okay. So we'll have it in the bank, but we can't. We won't know until next month probably how we can use it officially. Well, At least. I mean, it, it comes out. Uh, just for example, the interim final rule was a 151-page document. Yeah. So it'll take a little while to dive yeah. into that. And yeah. ultimately, um, the, the ad hoc's doing a wonderful job of trying to digest that, but it's always yeah. good to bounce it off of audit and CTAS and some other right. resources that are available. You don't want to allocate it and find out you did, did exactly. something they weren't, you weren't supposed to. Exactly. And reading through the fine print. <laughs> it's very important. So hopefully there'll be some processes so that we can make sure that we don't approve anything that isn't uh, allowable expenditure. Okay. All right. Well, appreciate it. Thank no, you. No I was going to see if I could get you to do an update on. I didn't get to go to your ad hoc meeting last okay. week. Okay. Uh, thanks, sir. Um, uh, tell me, what is the status of the ad hoc committee right now? The ad hoc committee, we are ready to start voting. We have put a list together. Uh, we would like to see some more participation as far as business wise, mm -hmm. people wise that have suffered due to COVID, uh, a loss of money. Uh, we are probably going to send the next budget meeting should have the first wave of our suggestions okay. if we get it in and things work like it's supposed to. Can you give me some examples of what the first wave is going to look like? 
Well, that part. You, don't have, to, you uh, don't have to call no names, but right now, the type of the type of aid. That well, it's need. it's going to be everything from probably the radios, mm -hmm. uh, all the way through to uh, EMS, through uh, some of the drug. There's three or four different drug associations. Recovery. Recovery. Yeah. Uh, they're just. Uh, it's a big mixture of everything. There's a few businesses that uh, are coming back on their feet that mm -hmm. need assistance. But this is what we want to express. If you have been in a business and you do have a tax number and a liable business or a person that have been business and you can prove loss of funds, come talk to us. Mm -hmm. the, you know, it don't hurt. And let us see because that's what we're for we're running we figured we'd be seeing more people we are not mm -hmm. we're not hearing we're not hearing from fire departments mm -hmm. i don't i don't understand that but i think it's just they don't realize that they might be eligible that's that's what i think it is and that's why i'm hoping you will come in mm -hmm. maybe we can get the word out a little better because mm -hmm. you know we can't get out here and just start knocking on doors right. but uh I don't think there's help there that people don't realize that is, and we want to try to do uh, whatever we can to get it back. And this committee is, we want to take all the work we can. So when we bring our packet to the budget committee first, we've got the proof that the money is good. It will pay for it, or it takes the burden off of them. And also, when it's submitted, to, I will be doing an update to the full commission to where they don't have to worry about if we spend this million dollars, it's wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, if that be the case, mm -hmm. uh, we've done pre-approved it through Nashville or the state right. or the federal. So the when it comes to the county commission, it's legal and ready to. It's it approve. should be ready for them to vote on, yeah. and that's now I'm sure there'll be some disagreement maybe on some of it but uh, we will present the best we can and then it will be their call have you got any more ad hoc committee, committee meetings scheduled where if anybody's just not getting the word that they can come and get yes. their request in and i'm sorry i don't have the date we are having one next month uh i'll try to email you the date okay uh, is it in september yeah it's september I'm not going to guess it today because okay. we've changed and rearranged them some. So, okay. but next month there will be another okay. meeting open for the public. We will recognize you. Okay. Uh, and uh, if it's something you think, you know, that can be help COVID related or whatever, mm -hmm. please come and see us. You know, we'll see what we can. Like do. fire departments weren't able to fundraise because of COVID, so that would be that would be eligible. Be true. Business owners that lost, that lost revenue due to COVID, they would be eligible. That's that is true. Okay, nonprofit organizations that suffered financially due to COVID, would that's be eligible. It. Okay, senior citizens, you know, mm -hmm. uh, the the centers and stuff that's lost where they had to shut down, mm -hmm. and they cooked out of the morning and and delivered, but they wasn't they couldn't do no fundraising and stuff. So there's many different ways that this can go. That could really help us in the future, you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm really surprised we're not seeing more interest. Yeah. There, I'm, free, I'm really free money. You think the line would be? You would think a it lot would, you know. So <laughs> now, and we've had some, you know, come in that absolutely will not fit in the rim. Yeah. Uh, no way. So. Uh, Can you give me an example of a couple of those? Just not calling no names, but. Uh, well, we've had some to ask even for like a million dollars. They didn't even have a tax number or nothing. Yeah. Uh, just come in there and ask because they were starting a business. Oh. Well, but they hadn't even had a tax number or nothing yet. So, you you know that don't work. It don't cost no extra to ask. Right. That, that well, I mean, I don't blame them for trying. You know. So, but uh, yeah. uh, I would appreciate it in any way you could if you would help try to get us okay. out that. Uh, uh, we're, we was averaging about thirty to thirty five per night. When we started, uh, we've had what four meetings, and it's starting to drop off now, mm -hmm. and uh, a little bit alarming. But now we've got some projects. When the federal money comes in, 
that we're holding off on that's going to be bigger projects, uh, such as maybe water, that type of stuff uh, mm -hmm. that we're going to be looking at, that right. we'll be voting on. But uh, that that we're doing a study on it now, but till the money gets here, we will not vote on money we don't have. Right. So uh, that's something you just can't do. Right. So uh, okay, and and all of. Eric and the staff, everybody here has been so helpful in the information we need. It's been really revealed to us. And that uh, hopefully we can make a difference as uh, for the taxpayers and uh, we can struggle all of it and get through it. Mm -hmm.